slight. Does that fit? No, that's all. Oh. It hurts! It hurts! Please, make it stop! Don't you think it's awful? We'll save you, poor soul. The critters start a duet of their own, attempting to drown out the bard's music. They look at you expectantly. Of course, we are born performers. Unlike some. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become... Ugh. More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. They were cheering me on. Ugh. Even animals think I'm terrible. I want to finish this song, but I can't. Nothing fits, you know? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Had two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes! Yes! Stars 
sorry. <laughs> She'd have said the same thing. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. I can still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I've a long way to go. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Moon, sun, will remind me of your grace. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffuse the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. No, it cannot be cured. And I assure you, I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home in Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. in my time, 
Talon. Child's gold pouch as he stumbles deeper into the water, oblivious. Nicely done. I hope you're intending to share. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Oh, 
Are they gone? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mo will be so mad. <sighs> Wait, um, you should meet Mo. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donnie. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. And worse. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ugh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Only when the occasion suits. That's mostly a synonym for yes, by the by. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for you. What's inside? Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. Festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. I've never learned to converse with your kind.
release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanus. She must pay the price. We will imprison the thief under guard of my servant. When we cast out the pest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. The grove will be made safe. The servant will be closed. Amigos, Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sivasif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. She failed. That's what matters. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. This will all be over. The I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just... Clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Positive. You can trust me on that. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. You did well to speak up for the girl. 
That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. She is first druid in Halcyn's absence. With him caught or dared by goblins, none may gainsay. But more will die if her ritual is finished. I doubt those exiled by the right will survive long outside. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close. I don't want blood on my hands. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone, but I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. <laughs> Seems like a good moment to talk. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. First you urge grace, then you speak truth. You surprised me twice over. A shame the grace period ends. The Viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded.
That don't give me trouble now. 